Hey everybody, I'm Mama Baird and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be going over something that everybody needs in their kitchen, and that's spices. Spices are what elevate a dish, what bring it to life, and what make, gives it that unique characteristic. So you wanna be able to know how to use your spices. There's a lot of people out there who are just starting to learn how to cook and they're like, well, Mama Baird, I don't know what spices to add. So that's what this video is all about. One of my friends is currently moving and so she's going through and downsizing her house. And one thing that she got rid of was a bunch of spices. So I was like, you know what? This is the perfect opportunity to go through and talk about spices. We'll go through what she's giving me and I'll kind of give you some tips and tricks on how to use your spices. But before we get in the video, please make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Come join my YouTube family. I know it's just a channel you've been looking for. All right, so let's get in here and let's taste some spices. Uh, make sure you have your palate cleanser. My palate cleanser of choice is coffee. <laughs> All right, so I'm very fortunate to have a friend who is very generous with giving me stuff. Like I just go there and help her organize it and help her pack and stuff and she just gives me anything she doesn't want and then anything I don't want, I'm gonna pass on to others. See, I personally don't have a problem with eating other people's food, with getting their leftover food, um, taking any leftover spices that are opened. I personally don't mind if you're like a germaphobe and don't like that stuff. Maybe you can do like a product swap with your friend where if you have an unopened item that has been sitting in your cupboard and they have, you know, maybe do a, a mystery box swap and swap with your friends on things you're not using, you know? So she's not, she's had these spices for a while. She's not using them. So she gave them to me. First thing right off the back is this garlic spread Johnny seasonings. Oh guys, this smells so good. It smells just like um, like Little Caesars, which is funny. Uh, Great Caesar. So this has, oh it has a bunch of things, how to make a dressing, a dip. And this is best before June of 22. Now another thing with these best buy dates, that's just more of it's, best to use it by then because it has its best flavor. It's not that it's gonna go bad. Like you're not gonna get sick by eating old seasonings, right? It's just gonna be clumpy and it might you lose its um, quality. That's what it's talking about. But this is still perfectly good. Got garlic, Parmesan cheese, parsley, spices. This is gonna be really good mixed with butter for garlic bread. Or you can even add it straight to tomato sauce for spaghetti and stuff and just use this as your seasoning. This is a huge container too, so this is gonna last a while. That's gonna come in handy. And then they have a Traeger, so they have all these Traeger spices. She said she's not quite done going through spices, so I might get even more. But this one's not even open. This is a polk and poultry seasoning. So cane sugar, salt, paprika, dehydrated apple, onion spices, chili pepper, honey, and paprika. Interesting. Oh, it's apple and honey. So that's some that's exciting. Fin and feather rub, also unopened. This is garlic and paprika. So salt, onion, spices, garlic, paprika, and sunflower oil. So very simple stuff. So this one is open. So they have a pork and honey one that's opened. Ooh. You know, and don't be afraid to give it a try if you want to. Be like, ooh, what does this taste like? It's more sweet because it's apple and honey. That tastes great. So don't be afraid to give things to try and be like, oh, that is kind of sweet. Okay, so I'm not gonna need to add as much sugar to my broth or whatever, if you know what it tastes like. Uh, here's some garlic salt that you press out of here is another one. Ooh, rainbow peppercorns. Always nice to have good peppercorns. Peppercorns are expensive too. I need, a, I need some more. Oh, here's another grinder. Ooh, pink Himalayan salt. Alrighty. Okay, I don't see any more grinders. I don't see any more Traeger seasonings. Here's a Kinder's buttery steakhouse rub. Mmm, salt, onion, garlic, butter flavors, spices, red bell pepper, parsley, turmeric. Turmeric adds good color too. So like turmeric and paprika, those are more your color spices. Yeah, they have, you know, paprika is dehydrated peppers, like bell peppers. So it has some, it has some flavor to it, but it's not like super spicy. The paprika and the turmeric are for your color. So let's give this a try. Mmm. 
Ooh, that one's really salty. So now I know, okay, so this is a weird salt one, so I won't need to add as much as this. And this is eight of 22, so almost two, well, almost one year past its best buy date. And it's perfectly fine. And it says right here, beef, chicken, poultry, veggies, use it on anything, you know, just try it out. Don't just use it for, oh, I'm only gonna use this for steak. No, try it out. Add this to potatoes, maybe that would be good. All right, here's a, oh, this is from Missoula, Missoula Fresh Market. Home on the range, buffalo wing rub. I love buffalo wings. Let's see, and this is still, you know, it's good. Oh, that last one is still salty. I need to take a, my palate cleanser. Okay. Woohoo, that one's spicy. It tastes good, it's woo! I was my tongue, but I wanted it to my went numb. Salt, spice, I like how it just has, it just got spice in there. Well, I mean, what kind? <laughs> Paprika, sugar, I don't know, it does, it just says spices. Probably their secret recipe. <laughs> woo, that's a spicy one. All right, so that's good if I make like my buffalo chicken dip, or if I wanna make wings and have some extra spice. I don't know, every once in a while, it's nice to have spice. All right, next, no salt, Tony's, uh, chachuris, is that what it is? Okay, so this is, oh, this got brown sugar, dehydrated onion, so this looks like it's a, oh, not open as well. Dang, my friend, look at her, she buying all these spices not opening them. There's another one, same thing, Tony's famous Creole seasoning. So two different Tony's seasonings, that's really cool. And then here's balsamic and roasted onion veggie roast seasoning blend sea salt brown sugar black pepper rosemary thyme vinegar vinegar powder you know you can make a vinegar powder interesting so this is another thing smell it give it a try see what you think it would be good on give you know just experiment Ooh, here's some sargon cinnamon um, trader joe's cuban style citrusy garlic blend Ooh, and this one's almost used so she must have liked this one Mmm, definitely smell that citrus. So this would be great. I'm going to try this on chicken. That'll be good on that. Here's turmeric. So that's what I was talking about. Turmeric being a good color one. Kevin's Paleo Chicken Seasoning. It's got coconut sugar in there. Nutritional yeast. This is really good. I hear this kind of tastes, um, Jessica at Three Rivers Homestead, she uses this on her popcorn to kind of give it a cheesy flavor. So, and these are also really good if you're nursing. This helps with milk production. So nutritional yeast is very healthy for you. I don't know if that's a seasoning per se, but well, I mean, I'll take it. Oh, here's another Kinder's seasoning, lemon pepper. Mmm. Oh, not open. Oh, it is. Okay. It just didn't pull. If you're going to open something, open it all the way. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Oh, that smells so good. I love lemon. Mmm. All right. So we got lemon peppers, another one of those. Ooh, here's a big one of sumeric. Oh, turmeric Melito? I have never seen this before. What's this for? All right, let's give it a try. Just a little bit. <laughs> hmm. Can't really describe it. It's kind of, I guess kind of like a chili powder. Not too spicy. I'll have to look that one up. Has anybody seen this? S-U-M-A-C sumac? Is that it? Ground sumac? I don't know if it's a um if it's a Middle Eastern one, because here's some Arabic on here. So interesting. Alright, so that's something new, and that's always fun too. Getting something new and looking it up. Let's look it up. Let's see what it is, you know? Ooh, smoked paprika. Oh my gosh. I love paprika so much. And I was running out. So this is super exciting. I love paprika. So you pour a deep smoky paprika flavor sprinkle on deviled eggs and spice nuts. But this is great for coloring. I love adding this to potatoes, to chicken. It gives it just like this golden color. Um, oh, here's another Kinder's brown sugar rub. Nice. Uh, barbecue spice seasoning. Here's some thyme. Always need more thyme on our hands, you know. 
oh, here's another time. You ever, I do that all the time. Like all the time with my time is I have extra time because there's, you never have, you know, there's, there's just so much time. Ooh, a butt rub. Everybody likes a good butt rub. Mmm, and I got that Kamado now. I could probably do some, some smoking on there. Uh, onion and herb, salt-free Mrs. Dash Flynn. This is pretty well used too. She must have liked that. Here's some, ooh, white pepper. White pepper, oh, garlic pepper. Interesting, I've never seen garlic pepper. Salt, garlic, sugar, black pepper, and all mixed in together, nice. Ooh, here's some more cinnamon. So this can refill the cinnamon thing. Oh, this is awesome. I love good cinnamon. I've never had this kind too. I hear this is a really good one, the Saragon. I've never had it before though. Oh, this is interesting. Tangine, Moroccan chicken seasoning. Mmm, smells good. You see that dark, that gold? That's probably turmeric. Yep, turmeric and other spices, <laughs> says and salt. Nice. Ooh, roasted garlic and herb. Oh boy, oh man. Oh, here's an all-purpose seasoning. This has got coconut sugar, onion, spices. That's all it says, coconut sugar. I don't know if I would put sugar in my all-purpose seasoning, but this seems pretty good. Woo, got me up the nose there. Oh, here's another Kevin, here's a taco one. I wonder if she got these in like a kit or just a scope in the seasoning section. Here's taco, all-purpose, and chicken from a Kevin Kevin's brand, paleo and keto. Oh, that's probably the coconut sugar is probably because it's keto. Keto? It's keto. And then, oh, everything but the elodie. I love this one. I'm just going to add this over here to mine. Here's some sesame seeds. She also gave me some garlic cloves. Pickled garlic, looks like. Yep, garlic cloves, water, vinegar, salt. So just pickled garlic. Always good to have extra garlic on hand. Oh, here's a Advi Spice Blend. Hmm, product of Canada. Cinnamon, cardamom, nutmeg, rose petals, and cumin. Interesting. Oh, not open. I smell that cardamom through it. Cardamom's a strong smell. Poultry seasoning. Uh, ground cumin. Cumin is really good for like tacos. That's the main flavor in taco seasoning is cumin. Oh, it's a big thing of ground nutmeg. And some 21 Seasoning Salute from Trader Joe's. Hmm, awesome. So I have quite an addition. I guess I'm gonna have to go through my uh, spice cupboard and reorganize a bit. I'm gonna be gonna go for the ones that don't have that much in there and try and use these up first. You can always save these containers for your own homemade spice blends if you would like. Another tip about spices when you're cooking with them is that you want to release the oil in them. So that means that you want to cook them for a bit before you add liquid. Toast it. You want to toast your spices because that helps release the oil to make your food more flavorful. So I decided that I'm going to store some of these spices in my long-term storage. And how I'm going to do that is I have a Mylar bag here. Mylar bags, it keeps air from getting in. So what you do is you end up heating the top of the bag and that prevents any fresh air from getting in there. I'm not going to put an oxygen absorber in these like you would if you were f vacuum sealing food because salts and sugars they kind of clump when you have that oxygen absorber in there. I'm not too sure the science why behind that but it does tend to clump and I don't want my spices to clump so that's why I'm doing this to preserve them longer. They keep their freshness and they won't clump on me. So I'm going to take a small size Marlar bag and I'm going to do this buttery steakhouse seasoning first. All right so I'm going to put Kinder's. Buttery Steakhouse. Fill it up, squeeze out as much air as I can, and close it up. And then there's a pack of scissors. And it only took about half of it, so I could do more. And then we'll do this Johnny's garlic spread. Alright, same thing. Alright, 
there we go. And then I'm just using a hair straightener. Let's see, this is a used one I got at Goodwill for $4. Just have it kind of on medium. You don't want it all the way high or else it'll, well, like that, completely melt them. So you want to have it kind of lower. And then you're just going to slowly tap it. And that's going to seal that. And keep any air from getting in there. So I'm just going to be doing that with all of my seasonings. I have them all labeled, stored, ready to go. I think this is going to be a great idea on how to get some of these big seasonings out of my kitchen. I'm not going to get all of them in the whole amount like in my spiceware at one time. This is a good way to take extra and keep it stored and bring it out when you need it and not have it go bad and don't feel the pressure of having to need to use it right away. So I'm going to do this with a bunch of these including my big thing of salt that I got from Costco. I just recently had to open it up so I'm going to get that portioned and ready to go. So this is really great because it helps extend the life of your seasoning which saves you money. So now I have a bunch of seasonings in my backup storage for future use. Thanks so much for coming along, seeing what seasonings I have, how to use them, and how to store them. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time on Mama Bear's. Stay salty.